All right, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Expert here at Silka. I'm Travis, and I'm going to be walking you through how to wax a chain that we've uh, previously cleaned. So uh, if you had a chance to check out our linked video to how to wax, how to clean a chain in an ultrasonic cleaner, um, we'll link that down in the description below. Uh, but then we'll get started here with the wax. All right, so we have a couple different ways that we can wax the chain with our secret blend uh, wax. So um, this is actually packaged in a sous vide bag. Um, so you can open the package, put it in a pot of boiling water. Uh, we've done a video on that in the past. Um, but our favorite way is to use an instant pot. So uh, the classic method of, of using a crock pot can be there as well. Uh, really the benefit of using an instant pot is that it has temperature control. Um, and you can do it a little bit quicker. So um, one of the ways I like to do it is on the sear saute uh, method on a medium heat. It will heat up the wax in, in just about 10 or 15 minutes um, where you don't have to wait a long time. If you do have a crock pot, flip it on, come back in an hour, the, max, the wax will be melted. Um, but in just about 15 minutes, you can do it with the sear saute method as well. So we already have a pot here of, of melted wax and we'll go ahead and get our chain uh, dropped in there. So first step we're going to do, we're actually going to remove the insert. So we're going to take our top off here, a couple dirty rags to grab the hot pot, and we're actually going to take it out. And what this is going to do um, is allow that allow that wax to cool. And we're going to make a little uh, little J band. Here's a piece of wire. You can use a uh, spoke and bend it. Um, and we're just going to run it through here. And then we're going to be able to drop it in and let the wax do its thing. So one main key here is once we get it in, we really want to agitate the wax, help it get into all the little places that it needs to go. So we're going to swish it around in the, in the pot and make sure that everything gets where it needs to go. And in here you're going to be able to see a few bubbles here and there. Um, you're going to want to make sure that we get rid of all of those bubbles. The, that's the air leaving all of those gaps um, and the wax taking its place. So once you've agitated it enough that there's no bubbles left, um, that means we got the wax everywhere we need to go and we're just going to wait till we hit the uh, boiling point of the wax or the melting point of the wax, I'm sorry. And as it's starting to, you'll see it'll uh, cool from the top down. As you're starting to see a film over the top of the wax, then that's when we're going to start to want to pull this chain out of there. Uh, doing that keeps as much of that wax on the chain as possible. All right, now you can see that there's a thin, a thin layer of um, cooling wax. So what we're going to try to do here is mix this all up. Now that we know that wax is right at its melting point, and we're going to try to draw this chain out slowly letting it cool on the chain as we pull it. We might pick up a little extra wax on the way and that's okay. We should get minimal runoff here. There we go. Just a couple drips and now we have a perfectly waxed chain. So now we're just going to um, let this hang and dry and then we'll set it on a, a surface here that doesn't stick, the wax doesn't stick to. Alrighty, now that we have the chain out of the uh, pot of wax and it's drying, uh, we're going to go ahead and wax the quick link as well. Um, so we'll take you through that process, really simple. Uh, we're going to take our little hook and we're just going to drop the pieces of the quick link on. And same process as the chain, we're just going to dunk it into the wax, pull it out and let those dry. Alrighty, thanks for joining us on another episode here of Ask the Expert at Silka. Um, now that we have our cleanly waxed chain, um, we're just going to let this dry for about 20 minutes uh, so it's cool to the touch. And we'll go ahead and install it on our bike. Um, we're just going to add the quick link in there. Uh, a little tip to make it a little cleaner, if you put it on the bike, run, it, run the um, 
chain a few times through, it'll flake off all that extra wax. Just give it a quick wipe down with a, with a clean, dry rag, um, and then you'll be all set to ride. So uh, you can also just throw it on and, and deal with the flex. So um, any questions or comments, um, put them in the comment section and we'll be happy to get to them.